incredible setting. Oh, the background was okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Try beating Les Bell. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you what, it's going to be tough to top that match right there. But we'll see if the Americans and the Dutch can do it. It's time now for the men's team gold medal match here on Pelic Beach. And the Dutch out first. The Dutch have beaten. The Koreans themselves earlier this week shocked them in the semifinals by two points. Before that, they handled the Malaysia and they canned the Canadians by three. Yep, and that was a it was a close match. Uh, we just uh, we got beat up a little bit by the wind in the last end, and they shot really, really saw the last end. These guys, in my experience, are known for shooting a very, very solid final end. If they're anywhere close, in they can this bring match, it home. They will bring it home solidly. They're a great team. They're a young team. They have the advantage of just that courage to go for it. Uh, I, I'm excited to see this match because the, the American team is a solid, experienced team as well. Lots of experience there. Lots of confidence in themselves. This should be, it should be a really tight, really good match with a, an exciting finish. That's Here's the lineup for the United States. On the left is Brady Ellison. In the middle is Joe Fanchon. And on the right is Jake Kaminsky. They'll be on target number two. The USA, nine better than the Aussies this week. Seven up on the Ukraine. Two points better over France in the semifinals. The lineup, by the way, for the Netherlands, Chef Vandenberg, Rick Vanderven, or excuse me, Vandenover, and Rick Vanderven. I'll try to keep all that straight as we go through this match, but it should be a great one between these two teams, these two two countries that have met four times in the past two years, and they have split those four meetings. Oh, there we go. It should be an, just an absolutely fantastic match. Shows you how evenly matched up they are. The United States against the, the Netherlands. The, the Dutch to start out. Looks like Van Der Ven is going to lead off. Their top archer. Right, eighth in the world, considered one of Europe's leading recurve archers. So this is Van der Ven, who did produce a major upset, taking out Im Dong Yun of Korea at the Olympics, and then was just edged off the Olympic podium by Dai Zhao Zhang and had to settle for fourth place in London. Oh, he settles for an eight right that's here to start the match. I think that's a nine. Is it on the line? Uh, well, they've got it as an eight star. It's hard, a little, little bit hard to tell from the angle of the, the, line, so the screen, no but it, it looked, uh, looked like a nine to me. I'll go with your call. Save, uh, uh, links on the save point five. Now here's Chef. Here's where we need the communication. Chef Vandenberg, 18 years old. And that's an eight. 8.9, rechts naast de pijl van rechts. So there is an asterisk by that first eight. We'll have to wait and see what the officials I don't think there's decide. enough wind. I'm not sure what happened on those three, zero, three arrows. The Shaky start, to say the least. A little bit weak, but there's an eight for Jake Kaminsky. So Jake Kaminsky, 46th in the world from Buffalo, New York. Here's Brady Ellison out of Arizona. Now lives Daddy at the Olympic Training Center in Chula Vista, California, with a nine almost into the ten ring. That's interesting. It, uh, Joe Fanchon as the anchor man. That's, I believe, unusual. I think Brady normally would anchor the team round. So this is a bit of a switch up of order. Joe, who's 26 years old, with a lot of experience internationally, he shoots an eight. So right now the so USA with a two-point lead, 25-23 after the first three arrows. Oh, a long way to go, though. Uh, I think it's a little close. I still, I'm going to hold by my call of that first arrow being a nine. Do you care to wager on that? <laughs> nine. There's a solid nine. No argument about that one. Van der Ven with a nine there. Unofficially, three will be on the Very, very slight wind going on. Vandenover, who's 21 years old. Ten, 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 ten. First bullseye of the match. That's got him fired up. And Chef Vandenberg, who was on the men's team for the Netherlands that finished ninth in London last summer at the Olympic Games. Eight, eight, eight. Eight. So a little bit of a rough start, and the wind conditions are absolutely perfect right now. 
This is a bit of a tough match for me to watch because I, I would consider myself friends with all six of those guys down there. So I'm not really sure who to root for. Root for a good match. Always, always for that. Always for a good match. Just a good close horse race. Yeah, it looks like the Americans are going to probably take a lead into the... There we go. Oh, nice Brady with the bullseye. Have you heard that before? Uh, once or twice. Once or twice, yes. yes. He won the Longines Prize for Accuracy mm -hmm. a couple of years ago, didn't he? Maybe uh, last year? Not his first time at the rodeo. Rodeo being an apt description, uh, that wave that he does in the introduction <laughs> is, is a salute to one of his heroes, uh, a great rodeo star. Seven. So I think we're tied. Okay. Unofficially right now, it's 51-50 for the United States, but if Hugh McDonald is right, by the way, Hugh McDonald, Carl Arkey, glad you're with us here on Archery.tv for Recurve Sunday, final match of the morning, team medal matches. We've seen some outstanding matches thus far, but we'll wait and see. The officials are down there taking a look at the targets, and is it a nine? It is a nine. It is a nine, so we're tied at 51 all. Yeah, sometimes it's just a matter of how you see the air of land, one person versus another. You just see something. You know, I'm not saying that I'm infallible. But Let's hear it for the teams, ladies and gentlemen, United sure States of America. I was pretty sure it caught the line. Well, I did hear you have 2020 vision, so I'm going to go with you and Donald on that. I guess we know 2020 vision down. after major amounts of correction. Right, we'll <laughs> 51 all. Here we after go. After the first end. And the Dutch will lead off again as we are still tied. It's the original shooting order. No. Jake Kaminsky. And there's Brady Ellison, who was a rock star in Paris. I'll tell you what, the fans absolutely loved Brady Ellison, and he loved the fans. Had great interaction with them over there, but the, the fans were really great. Looking for autographs. Brady's pretty good, too. He's yeah. very, very personable, really down to earth. And really enjoyed the moment out on that big stage at the Trocadero Gardens. Good good start for the Dutch. Yeah, so Rick van der Ven has been in the gold all the time. He's in a great position to just relax, execute, get more tens. Uh, then and over, hopefully he's made a good correction. Yeah. 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 I'd say so. Ten yeah, in a row, and that's a good solid X. And here we go with Chef. Chef is, uh, sorry, Mr. Vandenberg. He's, uh, he's a good shooter. He's going to probably be at Youth Worlds. Coming up, and he'll. Hey, he good nine, I think. Can you imagine uh, the other archers at the youth championships looking at him and saying, "I've got to compete against this guy"? He was just at the world championships. Well, there's a few archers here. Yeah, that's true. Are, uh, I believe uh, probably Lee from the Korean team. He's only 19. He's eligible for the youth worlds. Ooh, there's an eight. A little high and outside for Jake Kaminsky. So Brady Ellison will try to pick him up. Brady Ellison on that team that upset the Koreans in the semifinals in London last fall. The first Olympic medal for the U.S. men's team since 2000 as they picked up the silver medal at the Summer Games last year. And here's Joe Fanchin, a USC Trojan, attended USC. Another eight. Another eight. So the Dutch have got a good solid lead. Five good solid lead. I mean, three points. 79 76. However, we would caution those watching at home if you're just joining us. France fell behind by two points in the first end of their match, the bronze medal match, and came back to defeat Korea. So it ain't over till it's over. Although, the Netherlands is starting to really apply some pressure here in the second end. Van der Ven with a good shot. And here is Van den Over. Van den Over with an eight. Van den Over on the Dutch team that finished 17th at the World Championships in Torino two years ago. And here is the 18-year-old Chef Van den Berg. It's very, very bright on on that field. I think if you can shoot, right. well, if you can shoot, uh, I was talking with him earlier. He makes those shots fairly okay. regularly. He makes them good. Uh, he was joking that that's why they have him on the team because he can do that. 
Uh, as I was saying, it's very, very bright right, on that it, field. Um, I think nine, it's just a pretty out. big advantage if you can, uh, if you can have some sunglasses on to take some of the glare off. The targets, fortunately, aren't in direct sunlight, so there's not a huge amount of glare coming off them. Kaminsky getting closer to that 10 ring. Hey, Brady back in there. Good job, Brady. Direct hit. All right, and with a 10, we're looking at a 10. Lots of time. 807 left. Good communication again among the team members. That's not bad, Lee. That's not bad, Joe. But the United States on those last three arrows picking up a couple of points. You get back within one. Yep. Absolutely. And that's that's why you keep shooting the arrows. You don't say the one that have a three point lead. You might well go. Not when you come this far. So Joe Fanchin, Jake Kaminsky, Brady Ellison hanging in there right now. A score of 104 after the first 12 arrows. And the Netherlands with a score of 105. So the United States trying to pick up the gold medal here. The Netherlands trying to continue a great run. Again, the Netherlands beating Malaysia, the Canadians, and then the Koreans. The Koreans falling twice, the men's team, that is. But we will see the Koreans again later this afternoon in the medal matches, and we hope that you're with us for that. Whatever time it happens to be in your part of the world, we have some excellent individual matches coming up this afternoon. Mixed teams, we'll have Mexico against Chinese Taipei, and then Korea against the United States. So we'll see Brady Ellison again in the mixed team competition where he'll be teamed up with Katuna Lori. Katuna has been having a very, very solid year this year. Good to see her got a medal chance at the uh, at the World Championships. Oh, there's a good oh, big, big, big shot. Big time shot by Jake Kaminsky out of Buffalo, New York. Now here's Brady, who won a bronze medal at the World Cup final in Paris two weeks ago. Uh, looks like they've settled in. They found the middle. And they're going to start applying some pressure to the Dutch team. Let's see what Joe manages right here. Joe Fanchin, ranked 28th in the world. A year ago, won a gold medal at stage one in Shanghai. Eight. Didn't quite manage to apply as much as he would like. He, it looked like he settled into a shot a little bit slowly. Joe's a very methodical shooter. Very, very good, just the same. Van der Ven, the current European team and individual champion. Nine. Almost outside that nine ring, but kept it in. Oh, not as close as his first arrow. <laughs> He's shot nothing but nine so far, which is decent execution. Van den Over, I'll count as a nine. All the two links. Come on, Chef. All right. Let's see what Mr. Vanderberg can pull off here. Nice steady motion down the quicker. Throws it in. Mm, yeah, you can see. Thanks, Luke. Kind of pulled it over there just as he released it. Couldn't save it. Nope. So we're now tied. All three in both lengths. Nine arrows to go. And Jake Kaminsky, who was on that very same team with Brady Ellison in London last summer, winning the silver medal and upsetting the Koreans. He's been in pressure pack situations before, and he comes through. That was a great X. That was really, really solid, yeah. Brady. And eight. Okay, Joe, same thing. Good eye focus, strong eye focus. Lots of time on the clock, 30 seconds for him. They may have put Joe in the third place because he's is nice and methodical about his setup and so him being able to see how much time he's got left seeing that he's got 30 seconds to shoot that's just reassurance. There's a nine. So, another, so they shot a 54 on that end which is absolutely decent scoring. Right, that's that 54 I keep talking about that's treading water usually in a men's match.
What will the Netherlands do? Nine. Nine. If I had to predict, he'll shoot two more nines. I'm hoping he'll shoot tens. Come on, Vandenover on the team that finished fourth at stage one to start off the World Excellent. Cup campaign. And Eight points. That turn off your flash. Was a yeah, shot that and leaves the eight, Chef right? yeah. with Danger a chance Golden. to tie it up. Chef Vandenberg, and he's Lock, not Lock, close. Lock, 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 no, Chef hasn't, uh, hasn't had a great day here. The Dutch actually, so Vandenberg has been rock solid as their lead off man, which is exactly what you like. Uh, he hasn't been spectacular. He's Comfortable okay. nine all the way across. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Looks like Chef and Vanden over just need a little bit of settling in. They're just a tiny little bit erratic. Uh, kind of like the, the Belarusian match, I would say. It's not poorly executed, but it's just not comfortable. You know, just a little bit of rela relaxation, a little bit of just confidence in your shot, knowing that that's good enough. That tiny little edge would be the difference between some of these eights and having them be nines or tens. And there are days, Hugh, and I know you being a competitor, you understand this. You've seen it in yourself, you've seen it in other people. There's days where you just feel better. It's natural, it happens. The magic's there. Some days it's not. We were watching Pierre Julien Deloche yesterday in the gold medal match, and that was not vintage Pierre Julien Deloche. He can shoot much better, and I think he would admit that himself. It just wasn't his day. Absolutely, there are, there are certainly on days and off days. Uh, By the way, Mike Schlosser was having an on day, and <laughs> congratulations to him because he did do an outstanding job to win that gold medal in the men's compound. Yeah. And then, yeah, so you never want to take away from, no, from no, the victor. They no. always they have risen to the occasion and managed to pull it out. But now uh, we'll see if the Dutch can pull it out. That's that's why we practice. Well, here's that last end. They're notorious for shooting just a fantastic last end. They'll have to do it again today to come from behind. Hey, you both say thanks a lot. Hey, Bob. From Vonderven. Vonderven. Again, these two teams have split Tina. the last four matches over the last two years. So this is the culmination of a best of five. Yes. Tina, come on. Right, oh. right on the line. Come on. You're calling it a nine star. I'm calling it a ten. I'm going with you, Hugh. Vonderve. Vondenover, I should say, with the ten. At least we believe it is. And now here's Vandenberg. Chef. Oh. Yeah. 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 He released it. Yeah, you thought it was going to end up in the end of the seven ring, didn't you? Oh, yeah. I've seen him shoot so many arrows like that. Get them in. I'm not very worried about him. When he released it, he wasn't sure, but it turned out fine. So at least three nines. Possibly a good one. There you go. See you. And I'll raise you. Jake has found the middle. That's for sure. Kaminsky coming through. His last three arrows have been 10xx. He's absolutely pinwheeled that middle. He's got it. He's got it dialed in. Fist bump. They're fired up now. Wow, you shoot a 28 and you're risking losing points. That's not what you expect. Listen to the encouragement from the Americans. Joe Fanchin out in the eight ring. So that should be tied for that. Set, so it should be a two point lead for the Americans, I think. Going into the last three arrows. What we really, what at the very are, worst, yeah. Uh, well, at the very worst, it'll be a three point lead, as the, the scoreboards are currently saying. Uh, the Dutch really want to be able to throw a little bit of pressure onto the Americans. Not as much pressure as they had hoped for. Wow, but he's been consistent. You can't complain with shooting nines all the way through in a team round. Uh, he's been a little bit high. He, he's gone all the way from the right to the left. That was a nice quick shot. This pressure might be enough. Uh, if Chef can put in a good, I, I would love to see him shoot an X. And I think if we finish off with a solid 10 from the Dutch here, I think that the Americans will be under a lot of pressure. And Chef cooks up a nine right there. Pressure as I would like. I think that's going to be a 55 for the Dutch, which is a good final end. It's not the trademark that I'm used to seeing from them, a 57, 58, 59, somewhere in there. So basically, the USA needs about 25 points to win this gold medal. They start off with a 
Strong shot by Jake Kaminsky with a nine. 15 more points to tie, 16 points to win, two eights. I think probably the Americans have this button down. Yeah! Bullseye, Brady Ellison. So Joe only needs a six, a seven, a seven to win. So if he keeps it inside the red, the Americans win. A seven to be sure. Yes. He's been a little bit iffy. He's shot eights and sevens. Yeah. That's a nice, yeah. good night. Yeah. It's all over. Put it in the board, Joe. Mission accomplished for Joe Fanchin, Jake Kaminsky, and Brady Ellison of the United States. Celebrating on the beach here in Belicon Talia as they are solid gold. Yeah, the Dutch brought what I believe is a 55. The Americans answered with a 56 on that last end. So unofficially, the final score will be 214 and 211. Actually, actually, I think they just made it official. Yep. They did give him that extra point, so it's a three-point win for the USA. 214 to 211. And the United States, yeah, terrific matches. And there is the victory salute as they capture these golden moments here on the beach on a golden Sunday morning. The United States coming through. And the USA capping off a good week again. They had to beat Australia, did that by nine points. Had to beat Ukraine, did that by seven. And then they got the two-point win over France. We saw moments ago just how talented that French team is, so that makes that win look even better in the semifinals. And then they come in here against the Netherlands, a team that knocked off the Koreans in the semifinals, and they win by three points. The Americans do, 214 to 211. Jake Kaminsky leading off. Jake Kaminsky shot really, really solid. Uh, yeah, the, the both the leadoff shooters were very, very solid in that match. It was good shooting. It was a good match. It was a great team effort. And a great team effort by both teams. Really solid, really close all the way. It was tied at 51 after the first end. The United States fell behind by one after the second end, 105 to 104. But then there was a critical swing of three points in that third end as the U.S. went from one down to two up at 158 to 156.